Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Pepsi Halftime Show. Oh. That's gonna come back later. Yeah. yeah. I did, sorry, we don't have Coke. Is Pepsi okay? That's what they should call it. Sorry, is Pepsi okay halftime show? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now that, mm -hmm. I would find okay. You know, if there's no Coke or Pepsi, perhaps Mr. Pibb? When I used to go to the grocery store with my mom, Kroger, <gasps> there was a Coke machine at the front because obviously, but that was for people with money. And my mom was like, no, we're not wasting our money on Coke. So we went to the RC Cola machine next to the bathroom in the back. It was 25 cents a can and it was amazing. RC Cola is good. Yes, that's good. I mean, it's all battery acid. It's all gonna kill us. It is. I yeah, I love RC Cola. RC Cola. We have, have you ever had RC Cola? I've had RC Cola. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. so good. RC all brand Cola sodas was my tea. And a moon pie. They have a whole song about it. Ooh. I love moon pie. There was a similar vein. There was a machine, a vending machine for drinks and sodas in our church, okay. right by the. I don't know what they call it, but it, there was a room in our church that had like a black wine. screen. Like a one-way screen, so that ladies who are nursing or had quiet loud room. babies could go in there and, and nurse. They call it the quiet room. The quiet room. Yeah, and there was a Coke machine right behind it, and it was twenty-five cents. But I was there when it moved to fifty cents. Wow. And Inflation. I don't remember Coke or Pepsi because at that time I was strictly Dr Pepper, and I would always get Dr Peppers oh, and drink half of them. I loved Dr Pepper. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dark sodas, elite. Yeah, Elite. dark alcohol also gets you drunker. Ooh. We learned that today. But oh. it's stinkier. I know, well that's I why I'm doing, the, I'm doing this, because it's it's making me sober. I'm getting more sober by the minute. I'm doing this one, it's I'm fucked doing, up. Yeah. Alexis and I just did a Zoom gig for a company we like very much. We've been working with them for years and they're always super duper sweet. Yeah. And always they like sales. Like, they're very into sales. They like to force people into sales. Yeah. But they're very, very sweet and Sailboats they're and always down for whatever like shenanigans we get into. And, and our last one, they had us make drinks. They sent us cocktail kits. They sent us all the stuff to make drinks. And so yeah. in between rounds of trivia and shit, we would be making drinks. It was fun. Darby's a, you're a really good bartender. Thank you so much. So I put the alcohol in the cup and mm -hmm. then I drink it. Mm. You yeah, don't overcomplicate. Wait, what's your signature drink? What do you serve them when they're like, just give me the best that you got? Oh, it's a red wine in a big solo cup. Oh, a straw, <laughs> if you don't care about that turtles. And good. I don't give a fuck about turtles. They don't play with balls. This time, the the person organizing it was a straight man. I'm so, he was very nice, but I'm sorry. He was Ooh. straight. And so Sorry. he forgot to send all the stuff ahead of time. Like he didn't plan that segment. And he's like, well, can you just make drinks? And I was like, we can make it a bit. Like we'll make it a bit. So I found this website that had alcohol facts. And one of the facts yeah. was that milkshakes used to be alcoholic because in 1885, you wanted to die all the time. And so you had mm. to put alcohol in everything to keep you alive. I opened a bottle of champagne and then I poured in oat milk. And that was the cocktail I made because that's what I had available to me. Oh no. It was awful. It tasted fine until you swallowed and then you had a mouthful of like cereal taste, Ooh. like mm. Cheerios, and then you smelled it. It was the smell for me. Yeah. It was Ooh. really okay. heavy on the okay. nose. Yeah. Do you remember slamming down milk as a kid? I Those love milk. I could do milk. it now. Still? I could oh. do it now. No, you're still on the cow. No, I, I haven't for a very long time because okay. cows play with balls. Yes. I don't know if you've heard. Yes. But yes, I could. Cereals? If you gave me a gallon so, of milk, ooh. I couldn't drink it in an hour because that's impossible. But I could drink it in like Are you three a cereal? hours. You like cereal? You love cereal. It. What's your What's your top three cereals? Thank you so much for asking. Me Rice see. checks is like number one. Mm -hmm. Honey Nut mm -hmm. Cheerios number two. Okay. And number three, Frosted Same. Flakes. Now I know it's okay. just filled no. with sugar. I, know I it's see terrible. it. I see it. Yeah, I love Frosted Flakes. I loved Frosted Flakes when I would do cereal. I an also, oat milk. I also loved, I did love a Honey Nut Cheerio. Oh, they're so mm -hmm. good. I loved an Apple Jack. I'll say this, and I think I've said it before, I loved Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran. Well, that's, that's good, because we should all learn to love it, and you already love it. Because, yeah. uh, you know, we as you get older. We should lean onto that. Do you like cereal? You? What's I your love, top three? Top well, three. What y'all said so far, Honey Bunches of Oats. There we go. Yeah. I know it's an yeah. older no, but person's cereal. Do you like it with like almonds? Yes, with almonds yeah, and little so chocolate good. chips. Ooh, I forgot about Fruity Pebbles. 
Mm. I do like that when I want sugar, but also frosted mini wheats, but only with the frosted side on the tongue. Mm. Honey smacks? Have you had honey smacks? Oh, before? of course we've had honey smacks. It, does your pee smell like honey oh. smacks when you when you eat it? It still smells like honey smacks. I haven't had it in decades. Mm. Honey smacks is my new drag name. <clears throat> <clears throat> People just smack you at the club. <laughs> I am honey. <laughs> no, I well, would be smacking we, everyone else. We definitely have, at all times, we have we have honey bunches of oats mm. and rice checks because rice checks is for me and honey bunches is for Curtis. It's a texture thing. Yeah, it's the that's a big part of it. That's why I don't like Fruity Pebbles. And I know Fruity Pebbles is just sugar, but it's the texture because it's they get one soggy. so quick. Yeah. That's why I liked Frosted Flakes though, because it took a little bit longer, yes. but they would get soggy too. Yeah, Rice I like Krispies. a crunch at the beginning and then my teeth get tired and I do have to make it soggy. Soggy Rice Krispies, yeah. Soggy, no, Rice Krispies and you have to eat it within like 20 seconds. You have to down the entire bowl. Okay. Ooh, okay. Have you ever done no, this is a big, this is, a, this is huge. This is gonna end our relationship if, it, if it's different. You finish your cereal. What do you do with the milk in the bowl? Oh. Oh, I'm so, I shouldn't have asked this. This is the end of IMHO. I'm not a cereal adult. When I was a cereal kid teen, I would, I would just drink it. I pour it into my gaping face hole. Is that the wrong answer? Drink it? Yeah. What do you do with it? I pour it down the drain and I say a prayer. I think that is so gross. But what? then it's literally a milkshake. You're the wasting sugar the from best the cereal, part of the experience. The, the best part of the experience is like the, yeah. the the room temperature milk yeah. with dirt in it. You worked for it. Guess That's what? what you get. There's like ice cream flavors based off of cereal milk. Yeah. So it's like... Candles, like this smells like, you know, the milk and stuff. Like, you, you know what, I'm gonna go back to no. champagne and milk. I'm going back to champagne and milk. I know, I was just about to say, appetizing. you can't be mad at us because you just made me drink champagne and oat milk. Oh, I did not make you. In fact, let me tell you the story. Uh -oh. So I drink Wait. it, I have a comedic response to it. Okay, you know, our editors really cut this play story it up. Out. Make sure our and editors then, cut this story out. I'm talking to the people and they're like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. That wasn't worth it. And everyone's kind of laughing. We're laughing. And we're like, all right. You know, we're saying our goodbyes. She's dead. Because it's over. It's an hour. We're done. And I'm like, all right, well, I did that. That was crazy. Bye. I turned to my right. She has the glass in her hand. And I was like, you don't have to drink that. And she's like, oh. I she wanted doesn't. to know what my, my good friend that, and my sister. Don't say that I made you my do sister. it. You didn't specifically <laughs> make yeah. me do it with words. But I had to know what you experienced. You know what I mean? Hmm. Our editors, uh, honey smack. Honey smack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did anything? I mean, we just. I feel like we've been together a lot. Do we have any? We've been together all day. The, how any was the Fourth of July? Oh, Fourth of July. Yeah. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. we had our national holiday. Well, we had a fabulous time on the third at Roscoe's. Oh yeah. Didn't we, sure we have did. a lot of fun? We sure did. Doing the brunch? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you. Oh my God. <laughs> Your America's Sorry. Funniest Home Videos number was just America. Oh my God. America. It, it was stuck in my head for the rest of the day. And Thank the you. other people working there was like, this is, we live in a dystopian country. <laughs> I mean, was like, that was the commentary, there was I guess. One, there's a video that Adriana took and it's right when the like jerk happened. Cause I did America's home, home, Funniest Home Videos. You've got last from coast to coast. But then I did the America, 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 America for two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes it on was loop. And there's long. when it started, the bartender that was in the the shot just went. <sighs> I turned away, and that was at the beginning. Yeah, that song is. You told me it was sixty seconds, and you turned yeah. it into a seven, seven and minute. a half minute. Yeah, yeah song. Yeah. yeah, I think you have to do that again for our patrons. When it finally hit We Love You after looping for that long. You were having a full conversation with someone because I went right by the door to like end it and I'm crawling on the floor and you're like, I, like, Is this yeah, still I guess like it's still going on. <laughs> <laughs> but when it did end. Yeah, that was exciting. A jerk of relief. Yeah. I, during one of my numbers, I walked out and someone, not because of me, but someone immediately puked. All how over do the you, floor. Cursed. Okay, just to be clear, how do you know it wasn't because of you? Well, I hadn't even come would. out yet. It was like the music started and I walked out and then I heard a splatter and I saw. So she walked out and she heard a splatter. So that still doesn't tell us. That, 
thought it was Did very on cue. Did you see it, Did you see it? I just saw the aftermath. I didn't see the action of yeah. someone Well, vomiting. whoever did it, though, was really nice. They came up to me and apologized and tipped me, but I, uh, I thought it was fun. Yeah. And it was nice to see what, what the locals are, are throwing up these on. days. Yeah. You, okay, I know you don't like this, so just d grin and bear Bring it on. I just think you're such an amazing host. I really enjoy, you're a very... For this particular show, it's just like it's a it's a fun brunchy show where everyone's just out on a Saturday drinking in the morning. It, well, afternoon, but that's oh. gay morning, and you're just like <laughs> light and breezy and funny, and you're like, all right, and then like I'll be back later. Yeah, it's just a really you, light, easy breezy time. You drop a fun little oh comedy God. bomb, and then you yeah. keep it moving, and then you keep it perfect. Oh, yeah. that's the formula. Yeah, no, you do it really well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I love doing it. I love doing the brunch. Cheers. Wait, to you. I mean, Sean over at Roscoe's has been like the best the boss best. ever. He's yeah. so chill. He's so supportive. He's also like a stern mother too. Like, uh, we need to keep this going. Yeah. Like, he, he will not hesitate to correct me. So, it's but, he's just so, but it's boss. supportive. It's not it's very supportive. Oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like supportive. It's not mm -hmm. oppressive. Roscoe's is also the bar of like. I feel like the the cool, edgy person. I feel like everyone that works there has like a black shirt on with tattoos and like. Oh, they're all attractive. Uh, yes, well, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. They're it's just it's, they're all attractive. I also just really have fun with you up in the the dressing room while we wait. Like Sean usually comes up and hangs out and just to like, I don't know. For a very long time, Roscoe's was a very separate part of, of North Halstead from my life. Yeah. And now to be on that other side, I just see how like fun and inviting and kind and yeah I love it there they I'm take really care of their people that, oh yeah it's like their home yeah and mm -hmm. Sean always says like mean stuff to me but like in a funny way mm -hmm. and I like that do you know that Sean was one of the first people I ever met when I moved to Chicago y'all y'all talked a little bit about this yeah he lived right down the street from me on the same street on the street you used to live on on Kenmore I made friends with his roommate who I thought like wanted to be my friend but really he just wanted to top the twink you played mm -hmm. that game mm -hmm. And I guess I was awful because I was 25, no offense. And I was selfish and awful to him. And he's like, I can't be your friend. You're like, you're like bad. And I was like, fair. Okay, so we are back to talk about all stars because you know what we are? Gluttons for American. Punishment. Oh, oh. We both, we said the same thing. Let's we, we, for we punishment said, yeah, and American. Thing. Yeah. No, we just, we love these girls and I'm so excited now. Alexis, you were very excited for the aftermath of the lipsticks and you were more excited about what Trinity would pick. Yes, yeah, so we have just said sayonara to... Sayonara! Sayonara, sayonara. I wanted to do the S and S. We, we said bye to Silky. And see you later, Silky. We said see ya, Silky. Yeah. And it's time to pick out the lipsticks and for the first time this season, it is neck and neck. Yeah. Is it is the term neck in neck or neck and neck? Neck and, and neck and neck. And the necks are. Is it a race term? Like is it like horse racing? Oh. Like neck oh, the <laughs> neck and neck? <laughs> <laughs> no. That makes sense. Like and they're off. Yeah. And we went in very different are. directions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See biscuit. So they're picking out the lipsticks <laughs> and it is one. <laughs> it is. It is one by one, it's a one for Akira, one for Silky, and Akira, bless her heart. I mean, we've known she is the greatest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She says, you know what? This is a game, and it is. They have all signed up for this game. But yeah. did you expect this early to see Akira so? No, close absolutely to not. The game. No, no, no. Or no, 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 lipsticks no. for no. her. But everyone had a justified reason, and she did not take it personally because she said that if you take it personally, you're losing the game. Yeah. So right. I don't know. I. I, I she, I didn't see it coming, but I think that the, the contestants felt the same energy we felt from Silky, where they were like, oh no, like, Akira is, she never had to be redeemed. Like, she is a fan favorite. Maybe we let Silky stay longer and see if she can, because Silky delivered. I think Silky was good, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this is where it's the next day we get a little bit of Jan saying, I don't think I was, what did she say, lipstick eligible? Which I, I kind of agree, but everyone was like, you were in the bottom. You were in the bottom. Yeah, they were like Although clearly, nobody voted for them, yeah. Ginger. Which is good because we got a lot of jam this episode. We sure did. It was <gasps> the underdog. Did you not have like a little bit of a pit in your stomach when it started with Jan at the very beginning of the episode being like, I gotta get to the top. I know this is my <gasps> week. Because that's usually That's usually foreskin for the to them foreskin? 
I was thinking of something else. Foreshadowing. Usually it means bad, 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 but not in this case. It did mm -hmm. not. They Spoiler. switched it up. They switched yeah. it up. Because you know what? They know the audience is sick. They want someone uh, so chipper and happy to go home and they're like, that's what they want to see. Yeah. But you know they're what? Sometimes sick. they put us on a spin. You're sick. The, uh, you're sick. Speaking of sick, Ill. enter RuPaul. She <gasps> has come down she, to let everyone know. She's not feeling okay. Okay? What do you know? Is she sick with... Is uh, she down with illness? Or? She's sickening. Oh, well, say that then. She comes in and she says, ladies, we're doing the Super Bowl halftime... No, what did they call it? All-star... All-stars halftime half show. show. And you'll never oh, guess no. who we got... My necklace fell off. Keep going, I'll fix it. She said, you'll never guess the artist I got to supply the music. <gasps> it broke! free. Wait, is this a fishing line? Yeah, it's so it looks like it's floating in my bosom. But she was. I'm oh, sorry, Alexis. I apologize. She got her music. It was RuPaul's music, and she laughed. <laughs> she laughed yeah, she so was like, hard. Yeah, she a superstar. She laughed really hard. Yeah. I, you know, I know we say it. Some would say too often. I, I'm one of those people. But God, I love how unhinged. Rue has been these last few seasons, laughing her ass off. Like she, okay, she's at the Chuckle Hut, right? <gasps> Did you fix it for real? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a fixer up for kind of guy. <laughs> You're so masked. Yeah, it's me. Thanks, Daddy. I'm baby. Yeah, baby. You are baby Anything today. Anything for my baby. Thanks, Daddy. I'm baby. Okay, um, I have to say, I did buy this off of uh, this local little tiny like boutique shop. They have an online store, uh, Amazon, and I thought this was like so cute, like baby, baby, this baby, is really cute. and it fit my torso, which I thought was crazy because nothing ever fits my long ass torso. And I was like, I'm gonna buy more. Turns out it's it's a it's a kinky thing, which is fine. Yeah. But there were a lot of diapers. I was looking for more like little fun onesies. Instead, I found things that I could poo-poo pee-pee in more than poo onesies. Poo-poo pee pee. Yeah, I could poo and pee-pee in it. I did not buy them yet, but the month is young. Is that why you didn't wear it for Pride? Because no kink at Pride. No kink. Ugh, I didn't want anyone to see kink. I just wanted them to see baby. Baby. Okay, <laughs> do y'all get zoo poo ads when you watch this show? Yeah, because you Because <laughs> I just learned yeah, like you from did. our meeting, <laughs> you did that a viewer from gets market, Zupu from mar ads. Marketing department. So a big reason we get that is because Alexis says "come" every third word, <laughs> and we we have to limit the uh, content. We have to put like the content you warning. Select a tier of like yeah ads. Look, limits our ads to look, just poop. Look, 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 look. I won't. I won't be shamed. I won't be told what I can and cannot talk about. You will also not get any ad revenue. <laughs> revenue? <laughs> revenue. I just gotta say, cum is not always just ejaculate. Cum is a state of mind. You know what I mean? It's a warm... No, I don't. It's a warm blanket, you know? So y'all are nasty. <gasps> now, you know what? When people come, their state of mind is this. <laughs> But that, I don't want that state of mind. But but the like the five seconds after when you look around, you go, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Okay, now that is the state of mind I have. It's it. like that a is a spectrum of, of like mind. calm yeah. and then post nut clarity. Yeah, like those are the two mindsets. P and C. Okay, so we're doing the All Stars <laughs> halftime show with choreographer Jamal Sims. Jamal, Sims. Sims. Oh my Jamal God, he's so Sims. cute. He's. And he's so handsome. Is my well, I didn't. I did not see his pecs this episode, and I'm not. Which was a critique. I just want to give that critique to Jamal. Yeah. More pec, please. He's so hot. So they're doing RuPaul songs, but in the style of performers who have actually done the puppies, Pepsi, Peppies. The Peppies. The, the Peppies have 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 mm. Do y'all have a favorite halftime show? Oh, Beyonce. Oh yeah yeah. Mm. yeah. So I was there when Carol Channing did the first halftime show in 1965. I actually, it's so funny. I <laughs> I just took a Pan Am flight from the Soviet Union and I was just happy to be back in like, the, you know, free land. And she was standing at the airport handing out flyers going, come see me at my show in Raspberry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was that terrible. Was a good no, that was awful. Come see me. 
Raspberries. Oh, are you a compass or a red? No, she's dead. Oh! Oh, my phone. Oh, who's calling? Probably Carol. No, the care. So let's get into these rehearsals with Jamal Sims. He's hot. There's not really much going on. Jan is killing it. Mm -hmm. Trinity's killing it. Trinity kills the Beyonce. Yeah. Rehearsal. Trinity's killing it. And everyone's like, should we just go home? Probably. Yeah. yeah. They should and they will. I hope Yara was one of the people who said that. Yara was funny <laughs> with Jamal because she's funny all the time. She'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm obsessed with Shakira. Oh, it's more like this. And then it's like... And Jamal was like, well, Yara. she doesn't always do that. How about <laughs> yeah. we try this? Yes. And I was like... Yeah, that's Jamal He's saying, hey, we're, I'm doing choreo for the camera right here. I'm trying to make good TV. You're conflicting me right now. Yeah. If that was Todrick, Ooh. that scene would have gone I would have loved to see that, actually. Yeah. Can we refilm that? Oh, we, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Dance. <laughs> What's the... <laughs> Oh, 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 the oh yeah. Down, the house down. down. Sick them. <laughs> I actually do like this song. I do. Yeah, yeah. It's entertaining. And it's cool what he's There's done. There's a lot of Todrick moments that I really enjoy. So I'm not going to like totally shit on him. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to like giggle when other people do that. I like it Don't when he puts me. on like four different colors of t-shirts and like makes some music video though too. Like now, I love that kind of format. Yes. Oh, that's I love fun. his. Uh, are you making fun of that? Because I really do enjoy that. No, I do. I will say that was a fun YouTube era. His show Shauna Bean. They do '90s R&B Disney songs. That's stellar. That's. Shoshana. I mean, Shoshana Bean can do anything. Shush. Anyway, sorry. Oh Shoshana Bean can do so no wrong. Off. You know who else can do no wrong? Tell me. Ms. RuPaul in this outfit. Hey. Uh, let's just go, cause we got. Yeah, let's, let's just go. Cause this was quick. Yeah. We, we get to the runway. RuPaul. I couldn't tell if it was like white or lavender, but it was beautiful. It looked like a she white She had like blonde, a ponytail with a mini dress, but it was like draped so beautifully on the back. Yeah. She looked stunning. Fandom always has it. And that pony, just sitting off to the side. Yeah. The pony sitting off to the side and the skirt also went off to the side. Yeah. It was a very side. thoughtful look. Beautiful side piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was a beautiful side piece. Thank you for saying that. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. <laughs> beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Okay, wait, actually, in the lookbook, they don't do Rue, right? And then this was a, it was a departure from normal because they did a different stage. Usually they do kind of the yeah. Rue school on the runway, but this was in the halftime area, which was like three, was. it was like Ooh. a stage and stairs and then two side pieces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> side, More side pieces. Side pieces, mm -hmm. yes, of course. Trend alert. I enjoyed them kind of creating this uh, world. Yeah, this halftime world. Because it's not something that we as gay often experience because we'll we'll watch like the clip after the Super Bowl's mm -hmm. over because we've been sleeping. You know, we had such a tough day. The Saturday night's so difficult. Wait, I was going to tell a halftime story. This wasn't my favorite. My favorite will probably go to Beyonce, but when the Super Bowl was held in Houston, I was in high school and that was the Janet Jackson oh. JT infamous. And my friend Caroline wanted to go see Janet. Well, probably Justin at the time, but we forgive her because we didn't know back then. Right, right, right. But so she volunteered to be one of the people that's on the field. Like, so in the Super Bowl, they have like they a ran. commercial break well, yeah. to build the set. They have busloads of people waiting while the game is going, and then they move them onto the field. I love that idea that there was a Greyhound bus <laughs> filled with people wanting to see Janet Jackson. School bus. School bus, I apologize. And they're hearing this football game and they're like, They're not there. It's not for is us. It's almost halftime. Mm -hmm. They literally run them on the field and then the show happens. Yeah. And then my friend Caroline said, as we were running off, it was after the nipple, you know, nipple reveal. She said she saw something sparkly over here because the performers have to get off the same way as the other people. Janet Jackson running her titty flopping as she was running. She was right there. Incredible. She got in so much trouble for that. So yeah, stupid. but that wasn't her fault. Yeah, it wasn't. And do also, you, it was. But do you purposefully. remember? Do you remember that? Yeah. Like, do you remember like the conversation around it? Because I remember going to school and like it was a huge. They brought it up at church. I remember. Yeah. Like, yes. Are you kidding? The whole thing was just so goddamn stupid. I'm and then. Right. And the fact that, like, there's this man who ripped it off, and they're like, well, literally, he's fine. The, it's not the words are, <laughs> have you naked by the end of this, this song. song. Like, yeah. you did that. Fuck him. Yeah, you, you're from Jay Millington. You're not from Memphis. You're from Millington, <gasps> which is not Memphis. 
That's like saying, oh yeah, I'm from Chicago and actually you're from whatever's on the other side of Schaumburg. I've never gone further than Schaumburg. I have to be honest. I stop at the Ikea. You're cool, Justin Timberlake. I'm out. Do you want to do it? Yeah, we start with have... uh, Stacey Ferguson portrayed by Ginger Minj. Opening this show. Opening the show. So, what Stacey about Stacey Ferguson? Ferguson? That's why her name is Fergie. Yeah. Stacey okay, Fergalicious Ferguson. Okay, did you not know the Ferguson. song, uh, Fergalicious Definition, Make the Voice Go Loco? They always come into me and then think they know me. I can't they call breathe. me Stacey. Stacey I can't Ferguson. breathe. Ferguson. Her name is Stacy Ferguson. Does that not sound like a girl in middle school? Hi, I'm Stacy. Can I get extra homework? I would just like to practice. I just got a new calculator. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like Stacy? That's why Ferguson? she rebranded. She's like, I'm sexy now and I do hip hop. Oh, I'm Fergie. I'm Fergie. Now I did kind of like some of her she music. Big Girls Don't Cry was I really love cute. Fergie. Oh my, London Bridge. London Bridge. Get out. Clumsy. Yeah. Oh, the American, the tripping. national anthem. Fergalicious. It's one of my oh, favorites. Yeah, really anyway, I thought Ginger was fine. It's hard to embody Fergie. Like yes. there aren't any so, standout quips about her. I did say this to Darby before you got here. Thank you for saying it. This was, I was, I was impressed and actually really liked the interpretations of Oliver's music. I thought they all sounded good. Could we judge it? Oh, sorry. Well, I just want to say, I was like, okay, what exactly are we judging on? Because it wasn't like they wrote this material. They really just had to put the look together and then the runway. The so I was like, well, how are we judging this? Cause I think judging it based off of and it was so selling everything, the illusion. Right, selling but the everything illusion, was yeah. so quick. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Well, I'm, often I'm wrong, but but I, 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 I was like, this is entertaining, and I like it. But what exactly are we going off here? Because it was so quick. What's it giving? Yes. So I, I do want to say, oh my god, these songs, they were good. <laughs> they were good. People singing, so incredible. What incredible like vocal interpretations, imitations. They took the RuPaul songs and turned them into songs that actually sounded like something Shakira would sing. This was top notch. It was I'm impressive. So sorry. It was so impressive. It was really impressive. So impressive. That was really cool. But Ginger Mints. Yeah, I agree with you. It's everyone did great. And Bru even said when they were on the runway, I just want you to know you're all stars because she really was like, fuck, like everyone was really good. I do think Fergie was a harder person to just set apart. Right? It's and not like a specific iconic for yeah, yeah. 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 And I mean, she did great. Do not get me wrong. And she and, looked beautiful. Yeah. I just wish she had done more of her gingerisms. She did it at the end, like kind of her silly, like funny faces. Fergie's national anthem. We know that she can, like, I wish she'd like closed her eyes and kind of scrunched her face. That would have been amazing if they had started with that. Cause you don't, I don't know yeah, if y'all know, funny. but in sporting events, they do start with the national anthem. Mm -hmm. They just get mad when you kneel. All right, next mm -hmm. up. Uh, <clears throat> next up, we had Madonna. Wow, that was good. <laughs> Thanks. Fast. Fast. The brain is like on. Wow. The hamster running. Whoa. In that Thank head. you. Wait, did y'all see X Tube is going away? What? Yeah. <laughs> you know why? Because X Hamster or whatever. Wait, what? Huh? Is it because of X Hamster? Oh, no, why? I was going to say it sucks now. I'm glad it's going away. It sucks. Well, they it's have all amateur videos, stuff. but they have other. It's all no, no, no. It's all no. Mean. The paying amateur. Oh. It's all the professional amateur. X, yeah. Okay. Uh oh. X video. She got her king. Baby, gotta talk. X tube. X tube. Mmm, I love X tube. X tube was like my thing. <laughs> Fifteen years, oh I gosh. loved it so much because it was always raw iPhone material. And then, like in the last like <laughs> six months, it's all been like pay like you have to pay to see someone get fucked by the fedex driver i didn't have to use to pay for that okay so good riddance i'm sorry uh, why, why are they what happened? i love i know i don't know but i just love how fired up you get when we talk about because it i'm too. so angry that they changed their entire platform during a pandemic where we can't even afford fucking porn and now we have to start paying for it like they show us the thumbnail you can see okay you can see the thumbnail you can see oh they show okay i'm in the woods right and i'm 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 hooking up with this married man you can see his wedding ring as he's like face fucking this guy and then it's like 2.99 mm. your ex tube i'm sorry what forgot your identity tube forgot where you came from tube what's your go-to <laughs> site now mine's x hamster 
X hamster. I, I'm, I still do, uh, you know what, X okay, video. You know, X video, X hamster, yeah. Those are both really good. Yeah. Should I do X hamster? I didn't know that was, I just made that up. But that's no, a real X thing. hamster's real and it's good. Okay. DMCA is cracking down on the girls. You better be careful with what you post on Twitter because they could take that entire profile down in a second. What? If you, yeah. Did you see how like Miss Toto and like Low Tayana Low lost their like, yeah. accounts because Wait, they. Wasn't that from music right now? Yeah. Style? Yeah, it was. Okay. So if you post. I did get a hit. Like I did get a hit from something like five years ago and it was me taking a video of someone else at a performance it was like 20 seconds and i did get like a notification they took the tweet down mm. huh yeah and i know that they are onto some youtube stuff too but we're, we're protected by it. youtube has a good legal team they do and we only the only copyrighted stuff we use is by people who can't fight us like it's people who are down on their luck and like they couldn't even afford the lawyer mm. you know what i mean <laughs> I'm kidding, RuPaul, please don't sue us. Up next, we had Madonna, portrayed by Eureka. Oh. Now, this was the performance that Madonna did with Nicki Minaj and MIA, mm -hmm. and I remember this mm -hmm. because... Because you're a barb, well, well, and you have We were to. talking about the FCC and the DMCA. Oh. Do you remember when MIA flicked off the camera? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, and that like, was another kind of thing five million of fine. being so rude to lady performers. Mm -hmm. Yet Which again. is shocking because that never happened. They just blurred it out. That's all they had to do, right? I wish Eureka had taken it to the next level. And I know she's already injured she herself. She was on a level. She was on one of those platforms. Yeah, the next one, though. I'm so she sorry. She was on the first one. I want to take the next one. Okay. I know this was the Super Bowl, but Madonna getting pulled mm. down those stairs. <laughs> Eureka had been like, and at the very end of her number, they pull her down the stairs. By Leave her Eureka face. alone. She already, she already <gasps> and got and look injured. Look what it did for her. Now. Had she not been injured, would she be the Eureka we know today? No. no. Who knows? If she got injured again, maybe she'd be president. Honestly. Well, that's how you feel about it. Then feel about I it. I want to pull her down the stairs. <laughs> that's how I feel. Uh, she did good. Yeah, she I liked could, her. She, she even did a, 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 black, a blacking out of mm -hmm. the teeth. Yeah, I thought the costume was really good. Too. Yeah, the costume on. was good. It was she, on. She, I mean, she, her costumes are great. Up next, we had Diana Ross, portrayed by <gasps> Raja O'Hara. I thought it was in Stella. Hottie. It was great. The Stella. hierography, the bounce, the, yeah, the, the joy. Yeah, it wasn't it like right. choreography wise as complicated as some of the other girls, but it's it was like, so yeah. fun to watch, and it gave Diana Ross. I was so bummed that she was safe because I wanted to hear RuPaul go crazy gush because that I'm so that was so good that was it was good. it was the embodiment mm -hmm. Raja O'Hara it was the embodiment for me excellent you're a star. excellent you're a star we were yeah. gagged that's a top for me. we were gagging yeah. up next we had Shakira portrayed uh, by Yaro Sofia okay now I will say J-Lo and Shakira's halftime show <gasps> is top notch oh now that's it goes a good Beyonce and I think J Lo and Shakira. It's, oh, woo! I do, I do love Lady Gaga's halftime show. Yeah, it does. oh yeah, that was too. really impressive. I do actually, I did really enjoy Katy Perry's as well. Like I just, it, it, she's flying around the productions, and then there's a shark. Kind of give it to her. She did try yeah, really hard. She did. Yeah, she had yeah. a shark. Shakira's body, body roll. Yeah. Yara's body. Yara's body, body roll. She looked good. Did you yeah. agree with the judges? Yeah. When they said it, I was like, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the I thing. wasn't thinking about that, but that's why you're the judge. When I watched it, I, I did, I didn't, I don't think I fully thought what they thought, but I did think like, why is she looking down so much? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I agree too. Up next, we had Katy Perry portrayed by Scarlett. She had the Love Shark reference. We remember that. that no, I remember, I remember Scarlett's not a dancer, right? Nor. And I thought she killed. I thought she was good. Oh, this was fun. Really and it was smart to do Katy Perry because Katy Perry is also not known as a dancer. Well, because she's a pastor's kid and like Jesus told her not yeah. to dance. Was never the way I planned, but I kissed a girl on the lips and it was crazy. Um, that's Katy Perry. Was that Carol Channing? That was Katy Perry. Oh, shit, I want to kiss her. Raspberries. I agree with you, Alexis. You said this, I think, last week. You said, I was never a Scarlet fan, but oh my God. I'm, I'm a, enjoying I'm a Scarlet fan. I thought she was fantastic. I really do. I thought she was fun. Especially knowing that she's not really a dancer. Like, 
You could have fooled me on this. Yeah, I thought I did. I thought she did great, and her looks are just so top notch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just her personality did, doesn't necessarily connect with everyone, but you can't deny. Right. She's a That's undeniable. And maybe as we whittle undeniable. down. Undeniable. <laughs> Maybe as we whittle down contestants, we'll see more of her and more of Unless why we whittle I felt her black down thing. first. Right, right, right. Which, if you're a big block of wood on a porch, that's Honey, what you deserve. Or potatoes. Get in my, oh. Or soap. Oh, whittle down soap. What else can you whittle down? Did y'all, did y'all have, rel I mean, y'all are from the South. Did y'all have relatives who whittled? You soap? Oh, mm mm. I did. I don't think so. My grandpa, my papa, he used to whittle and then like all of his. His brothers used to whittle, and there's just a lot of like whittling going on. And the craziest part about it was not that they were whittling, like do it, obviously. Like there wasn't internet back then, there was just Jesus. He'd make like a duck, right? And it'd be pretty good. And it's just his little pocket knife, and he's making it, and he makes a duck, and then it's gone. Like we never saw it again. Did you walk around my grandparents' house and see whittled uh, creatures? No. Where is it? It's right here. Because you're a whittle baby. Oh my god, you're right. I'm a whittle baby forever, Papa. Aww. He'd throw up if he saw me. <laughs> like that guy did at Roscoe's for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Papa now. Mm. Up next, we had Steven Tyler portrayed. <laughs> By, brilliant. Uh, by, yeah. Uh, brilliant. By, this is brilliant. By Sony. She looks amazing. Yes. Yeah, she really She did. looks amazing. And in right. the final second of her segment, well, when she did the lips thing, I was like, oh, that's Steven Tyler. Down. Yes. It was funny when she said she was going to do it and they cut to Trinity's talking head and she's like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know who Steven Tyler is, <laughs> but that sounds like a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then Kylie did Steven Tyler and you could see... Yeah, Steven Tyler's barely a man. Let's be honest. He's barely human. But but there's, exactly. He's his own kind of being. He's got scarves on his microphone. He's, man is a strong word. Mm -hmm. I bet he's, I bet he's fucked any and everyone. Yeah. But you know who, you know who his daughter is? Liv Tyler. Remember Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Lord of the Which Rings. one? Liv, Liv Tyler. Tyler. Lord of the Rings. One? She was in the first one and she was the, the, um, did you elf, see, the um, elven girl. Did you see the, the Ooh, girl girl. Girl. Did you Armageddon. See Armageddon? Armageddon. You see Armageddon? Mm -hmm. Was she kissing uh, she uh, him? She did animal, animal crackers on her belly. Did you know who Steven Tyler was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew Steven Tyler. Dream on. Yeah. Wait, oh, one yeah. more time. Dream on. Ooh, there's a fantastic, this is like 10 years ago, there's a fantastic duet between Steven Tyler and Carrie Underwood. And they sing each other's songs. <gasps> While you're doing that. I'm showing her Liv Tyler. Do you recognize her? Put in Liv Tyler, Lord of the Rings. I can't believe that they're related. They don't, oh, wait, no, I see that jaw now. Don't want to oh, close really pretty, my eyes. Oh, she's stunning. And she sounds like a, a puppet of a child. Really? Hi, my mama. Hi, my mama. <gasps> you um, have to do a Liv Tyler for Snatch Game. Hi, my mama. Hi, my mama. She was in 911 Lone Star, the first season. That's good. Ooh, I just listened to this new podcast where I learned the origins of 911. Do you know what they are? I'll tell you. In the 60s, this lesbian was walking home from work. She worked at a bar and it was like two, three in the morning and she was in the Bronx and she was walking home and this man who came and drove him from the suburbs because he liked to kill women and then drive back to suburbs oh, with, his, with his family, his wife and his kids. He came up behind her and he stabbed her twice in the back. So she screamed. Like, Oy. Oh fuck, I'm getting stabbed. She said, oh my God, I'm being stabbed. And then 30 something neighbors, cause it's the Bronx, it's very tiny. They all woke up and a man like leaned out his window and was like, hey, you leave that girl alone. And then the guy ran away. Cause like the people were watching. Well, then the woman, she crawls into the vestibule in her building, her apartment building. No one called the police. Do you know what happened? 30 minutes later, the man came back. <gasps> got into the vestibule. I've heard of it. Raped her and murdered her. That, yeah. And that's there's where 911 came because cause there's not an easy number a, to remember. There's a documentary about this. There is, yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's fucked up. Hey, you leave that girl alone. Excuse me? And then he ran and then she crawled into her vestibule and everyone just went back to bed. Nobody. But now you, there's 911. So much for the city that knows. And bother them. If you think like, oh, someone else is going to call. No, d just call them. Who cares? Do it. Up next, we had Lady Gaga portrayed by Jan. The Gaga Gigi Goo Goo Gig. Wig was glued down. Yeah. Growing she was, her scalp. 
Shikabat, shikabat. She was shikabat. whipping it around. She did the leg shikabat. up onto the piano. The Gaga you gimmick know, sold it. Yeah, yeah. She was great. Leg on the piano Crazy. made me think of the drag artist formerly known as Fifi O'Hara when they did Gaga on Snatch Game. Rawr. Oh, and they oof. tried to do leg on the piano. That was yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah. That was um, uncomfortable. That hurt. Jan was great, and she had the, she did have what Jamal was saying earlier, the weird movement, the dance movements, but they were also like weird, because Gaga's an amazing dancer, yeah. but it's not like necessarily lyrical, or it's more like strength, and like Jan embodied that. Yeah. That was one thing, too, that, that in the rehearsal, I really appreciated Jamal saying was that, you just gotta go all in. That's what Gaga does. She goes all in, and I have to say, that's what Gaga Jan does. Well. Like, yeah. Jan. Yeah. She's got start and she's got finish. Like there's no really in between. So she kind of had to be at the top and Gaga was a perfect choice for her. Yeah, a very committed Gosh. person that is. Yeah. And oh holy shit, God. how good was she? Very good. Yeah. Good job, Gaga. Congrats, Jan. And also, I'm really impressed. A couple of the ladies did it. I'm really impressed at people that can walk downstairs and drag without a railing. It's you important. can practice that. You can practice Does that it in your home. Does it feel girls used to do that? And they were wearing like full six foot headpiece bullshit when they did it. They didn't even have electricity. Where are they now? Well, they did. Dead. It was on their head. Well, they're dead. Mm. They're dead. Okay. Who's Take next? advice from a dead person. Uh, up next, next, we had <laughs> Prince, portrayed by uh, Akiria. Now, I enjoyed the performance when I watched it. I did too. I enjoyed I it very much. They're really just looking for something to, to critique because everyone did such an amazing job. Yeah. I thought that Prince was like, a really iconic person to do and it was very ambitious to take it on i thought she did fine yeah i, I just want more for akiria that's all yeah i like came into the season really rooting for akiria and i was wanting her to sweep was, everything yeah i think she was our pick for <clears throat> all of us right? mm -hmm. and now trinity is like yeah slaying kind of slaying i'm sorry i'm jumping ahead though we'll get no, to is her trinity I'm sorry. Next? no 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 <clears throat> trinity's last <clears throat> But yeah, Speaking I thought it was a good Speaking of slaying. Person. Yes, up next we had Carol <laughs> Channing. Your favorite Super Bowl halftime show. Uh, yeah, well, because I was <clears> there. First. Uh, that was my favorite Trinity K. Bonet quote of the entire series, probably, when she goes, we're all going to get beat by fucking Carol Channing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, you know... I feel a kinship to Pandora as far as just dancing and, and pop music is not necessarily my kind of vibe either. But you find the thing that works for you and you make it work. Mm -hmm. And God damn it if she didn't make it work. And what a brilliant song. Yeah. Yeah. Like the music editors and the performers. Really clever. They were the stars of this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Found a way to yeah, make yeah, yeah. the they style really work were. with a song that already exists. And Pandora doing Carol Channing kind of put her on the map from her Snatch Game way yeah. back in season two. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. It's truly a masterclass. Ooh, and then finally, oh, we finally have Beyonce. We have Beyonce. Done by Trinity. Trinity. Listen, this was the moment for Trinity to come in and say, anyone who's ever tried to do Beyonce, mostly for Snatch Game, has bombed. And I want to do Beyonce justice. She wants to break the Beyonce. Beyonce. Curse. Yeah. And ladies, she did. Broken. 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 Down to the deep rooted brown wig. Those way. broken yeah. Beyonce's. The look was she incredible. She carried her Beyonce. Mm -hmm. The look was incredible with oh, the movements. Oh, to see her Beyonce. We run this mother. Do you remember where you were when the Beyonce Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show yes. happened? I was, was beating my meat. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was, uh, I was enjoying it with my family. I was in a production of Sunset Boulevard. We, we had a matinee, right? Because the Super Bowl is daytime? Yeah. Yeah, it was a Sunday matinee. And we all made sure there was apartments above the theater for the people that... Cause oh, in, so in doing theater oh. in Chicago, you have to move to New York if you want to get a good role. Sure. You know what I mean? So when they move to New York, then you can bring them back and they have to stay in the apartment above the theater. Right. And so we, we went in the apartment above the theater and we were watching it. And that's where I was. Thank you for telling that story. I was the dance captain for that show. Guess how much dancing's in that show? Zero. Zero. You did a great job. You yeah. captained it right out of there. Do you remember during the halftime show, Michelle, can you handle this dunk? When they yes. up. Can you handle this dunk? That's what we're going to do at our live show, right? Left. Okay, oh. I do have to say, yes, we're jumping out of a, a, a hole. Michelle Williams released a, a book. And I think <gasps> it's all about, like, being positive and, like, because she's gotten a lot of shit. 
me included, just being like the third kind of person. And <laughs> I wanna <laughs> I wanna read the book. I've always Why been a Michelle fan. I've it? always enjoyed that she has the bridge. She always has the bridge. And that is one of the most memorable parts of a song. I love how interesting her voice is. I think she has an incredible voice. She's a great singer. She yeah, she's the best singer. Oh, you know what? Show. I think she's a great. She was the best great. singer. Well, Beyonce's the best singer, and then Kelly, and then Michelle. <laughs> you read it, and will you tell us about what is in it? I'll do a yeah. I'll do a, I'll do a Patreon only Michelle Williams book <laughs> review, but no one else read it. I yeah. don't want any other opinions. Auntie Jan. Yo. I want to know Auntie's thoughts on Trinity KB. Bene. Oh, it was the best one. I thought it was going to win. I thought the embodiment was there. The mannerisms, the Beyonce impersonation was there. You know how like when you'll go to a drag show like in a country where it's like all about celebrity impersonation? That's what she was giving Ooh, me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I say this before? I know we're getting into runways, but I also feel like performance alone, for me, Trinity was the winner. But yeah. add in the runway. Let's go through it. Let's, well, let's get into the sorry, runway, sorry. shall we? Well, let's get into the runway. The category is for the frill of it. Frills. <gasps> Frills. Frills. Cheap frills. I love cheap frills. You got frills? Baby. Oh, yeah. Is this really? No. Is it frilly? It's giving yeah, frills. Yeah, yeah. Ginger Minch is coming down in this southern bell gown. It's really cute. I really I'm biased. But I do love this anyway. Why are you biased? I'm biased to Ginger Minch because I met her. She, this is actually what she wore she to, nice to Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively's plantation. No! <laughs> Say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Say the that. plantation dress. Listen. It is a plantation listen, dress. Listen, I'm just, I'm, I, 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 blah, blah, blah. I go back and forth. Listen, I don't go back and forth. That sounds terrible. Unless there's another reference on top of it, I just don't see the need for it. <gasps> like Carol Burnett's Gone with the Wind dress and she's, uh, the window. The curtain, and she's yeah. the window. Okay, great. Like that's a hilarious kind of turn on like a movie. But like just coming out in this Southern plantation dress, Ooh. I just don't see the point. I just don't see the point. That's, now, that's me, that's now, me, now, that's now. me. Uh, for me. Yes, it is triggering. It for is, me. It is, it is maybe not it. the wisest choice. Uh, However, because it's that, that, that silhouette you go to Gone with the Wind. I know, and I know, Gone with the right, Wind right. is, racist <laughs> and frilly i agree with you and, oh, and we've also no. but also what you said before is we've seen this well, it's just we've seen it before and i also just in the world that we're living in now thank god yeah maybe I, not necessary i don't know that this was necessary yeah yeah she should have worn a dashiki <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what she should have put no, on no 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 up next we had eureka eureka wore a pink cowgirl with chaps the frills were on the chaps the frills were the chaps. chaps. Um, it I, gave me a higher up. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Well, I, I was just going to talk about the lips, but you go no, ahead. No, 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 go, go, go. I didn't like her lips, okay? <laughs> Let me see the lips. Like it was that. just a little. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the, the chaps, it seemed like kind of a higher. Um, fashion? Higher fashion way to do what Ginger did last week. Uh -huh. Yeah. I loved this. What a great idea. Sorry, it's definitely yeah yeah yeah. It's definitely a different yeah. idea, a different take on fr like. Well, what I do you think though? What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Well, you're going up with your voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what to say because you liked it and you didn't. I'll split the difference and say I like the outfit. I think if you take that hat off, the hair is not. The hair is a little too. Well, that's why she cut the hat on. Yeah. Up next we had Raja, and Raja had on this beautiful princess, fairy lavender tale cool. princess. Beautiful. And uh, you know, like again, that? it's have we seen a tool princess? Yes. But it was so. What's that word? What's that word? Ethereal. Ethereal. Oh That's exactly God. the word. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It was so ethereal. I I found it hypnotizing. Yeah, she yeah. is beautiful. Raja is beautiful and not doing any wrong for me this season. No, 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 no. Up next we had Yara Sophia. Yara had on a windmill. Yeah, she said head. she was gonna blow the frill. Oh yeah, because she said Gone with the Wind, but she didn't want to do Gone with the Wind, she wouldn't do the wind. I gotta be honest, I didn't see frills when I first looked at this. I guess the, the dangly around the hip area with the, with the, what is that called? What is that called? Danglies? What is that called? For the real? shingles? No. Oh my god. You're talking about appliques? No, you're talking about... Fringe. Fringe. Oh my god. 
You know what? She's having a rough it's day. It's been a long day. Gonna it's been a long yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, frill. I, I saw the fringe, and I guess you could call that frills. I've been in drag just as long as you have, and I'm not ready to Yeah, but I had screen but I fringe. here. True. It, so, it uh, wasn't my favorite uh, frill look. No, I'll say that. no, no. It no. didn't say frill to me. It said fringe. It gave me, me. Uh, it gave me, yeah. So when you get, when they, they give them these kind of general themes, like when they give frill or when they give yellow or when they give denim, like I want to see something hitting me in the face with frill. I want to see a different way that you do it. I don't think that you can just come out and be like, well, here's just like an accent of the piece. Unless there's a really clever trick behind it. Anytime they give you a, a theme that is just a noun, you have to go camp. You have to, right? You got it. You got to go you camp. You got to do camp. I think oh, you do. Okay, okay, I have it. Come out, come out. Sure. In a tent, but covered in frills. You did That's that. camp. You did that. You did that. Oh. You want us to talk about that? No, 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 no. You just want to talk about that okay, that you, the season no, that you No, 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 everyone no, watched season No, you did great. Again. Yeah, we're proud of you, Alexis. No, okay. Well, what would y'all do for frills? What would you do for frills? <laughs> no, that is funny. No, 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 exactly though. Like that's frills. why I think Eureka really hit me because she took chaps and was like, "I'll make those frills." There's got to be a twist. You can't just come out in a frilly gown. It was. A, I'm sorry to jump ahead, but let's jump ahead. It was the same thing. I think it's the reason that Trinity K. Bonet lost this week because she came out in a very traditional. I have frill at the bottom of my pageant gown. Did she look incredible? Yes. Could we ever compare? No, but it was so. It was very. It was expected. Very, it was very beautiful, expected pageant dress. That it yeah. just. Is she next? It didn't work. She's not. Mm. I'm sorry, but yeah. what would you do for frill? I apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know. It's. Not <laughs> I would come out as an air conditioner. Ooh. And I would. My frill would be my blowing yeah. wind. You'd have like the the shaders. Yeah. And then just like tie the. The frills would be glowing. Oh, you know what? I'll be an inflatable tube man. Oh, oh yeah. No, that's frilly. You know what I would do? You know what I would do? You seen the video of Nina West in the frill dress, the of breathing dress? Of course. I would bring her out. And Nina I would West? Be, yeah, and I would Nina. be one of the frills. <laughs> but then I turn around and boom. Nina West! <laughs> yes. Yes. Nina West and all of her backup guys, and they would walk down the runway with you, and then you'd push them all to the side. She felt that Yeah, and then, and then I'd be like this. <laughs> I you love that, that video would so much. Be, okay, now, I do not mean to encourage this insanity. <laughs> that so would be very funny, though, if there was, like, a big foot and a little part of a leg, and you were attached to it as like the frill, and you're wearing the exact same thing that Nina West's guys were wearing. Yeah. And you just walked with out makeup. with a foot, and then you broke away from the leg and left the leg standing in the middle of the runway. That's brilliant. Mm. That's brilliant. Mm. Wow. Well, Up next we have... You like me. That's really brilliant though. <laughs> you really like me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You like that. We had Scarlet. Scarlet had on a beautiful Something. French little Yeah, how would you fit? describe that? Like Frenchy. Yeah, yeah like French maybe saloon a little bit. She, she stoned her lips. Yeah, very her makeup Royale. is I thought she looked great. Gorge. Yeah, um, gorgeous. Yeah, she looks great. Yeah, she looked amazing. She loves like a, a say something hat. Mm -hmm. She does. She walked in with a say something. She had a lot she's to say. She's always doing well, you a know little what? bit of a... Well, you said see something. I think she's seen a lot because she's saying something with the hat. Ah! Gears are turning. <laughs> um, yeah, this was cute. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this one was a cute look. Kylie. Okay. Kylie. So Ooh. Ooh. I Ooh. wanna. I wanna. Ooh. I want. I want that piece. I want it. I want that piece. I want all all of her hair this season. Oh yeah, this is her hair. Every her single hair. She this was those this was are again crazy. like I think you know what I think Kylie does really well is I think Drag. Kylie bring yes and she Kylie brings Kylie to every look. This was unmistakably Kylie like from yeah. the tit up and then she's like well and now I'm gonna incorporate this brilliant idea. And you know what? She has that gorgeous body which I do think she covered a lot of but even through all that I still saw that amazing that butt. Skin. Respectfully, it, it was it was very well. Well put together. This was this was a winning look for me. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. Stunning. Great color. Kylie Sonique, love it. Thanks for watching. 
Up next, we had Jan giving us the Jan to see burlesque. <gasps> okay. Mother of the Saloon. Yes, Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. She made it a very kind of moody look. That was, that's fucking brilliant. That's a good choice. That's brilliant. Yeah. It makes it a little bit older, demure, sexy. It's a sexy costume. She's giving, she's giving that one lady in Jacqueline Oh, Hyde. she's gay. Oh. She does, she likes Mr. Hyde. This makeup is immaculate, though. Yeah, Jantasy. I love that. Yeah. I mean, and the hair. We're feeling your fantasy. Yeah. Mm. She looks stunning. You're feeling the fantasy. That's when I knew she won. Up next, we had Pandora Box, and she has on this little doll dress, looking like a little girl. I love this I'm a little girl. Dress. I love this Yeah, I, I could see this dress on you. My only so thing, really oh, thank you. Yeah. My only thing is that I wish she had had crinoline underneath it. I wish the skirt. You would have worn crinoline. Were more. Is I that, agree with yeah. you. I love the hair. I want to. I want to know how to make that hair. Mm -hmm. But it was just. I thought it was adorable and sweet and I elevated liked, enough that I. It was. It was I agree with me. you. I would. I would have liked a little more crinoline and a little teeny bit longer because there's something about this that just seemed a little short to me. She likes to keep it. Uh, brief. But I'm dressed like a loofah. So. But she looked great. I. I really enjoyed mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Summer. Yeah. It was a good yeah. week for Pandora. Up next, we had Trinta TK Ugh. giving us pageant. Stunning. Down, down, looking gorge. Stunning. There's yeah, no a really cool dress. Denying how incredible she looks. But. Don't be a frill denier. If we're doing a noun, I want to see a twist. I want to see a different take. I truly think that's why she lost this week. Mm. I really do. Yeah, because while it was beautiful and stunning and technically frills and technically perfect in every way, it, it just wasn't that extra little thing that you want in a drag queen. Because I think she and Jan performed drag their perfect. asses off and they embodied the essence of two of the biggest pop stars in the world. And really the runway was a way to kind of break them apart. And I have to say, I think Jan rose to the occasion a little more than Trinity did. Does she look stunning? Yes. When she went in to vote in the bathroom and she put her little lipstick in and she saw herself in the mirror and she goes, God, I look good. Correct, you do. She looked amazing. Amazing. She was weaving yeah. on that runway. Yes, she was. You know she was eight, feeling good. Eight, Whenever eight, someone walks eight, in the puddles, eight, 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 it's eight, good. Eight. Yeah. It's a good thing. Oh. But you gotta talk about this look though. A Curious C. Davenport wearing Joshuana Ponte. Joshua Ponte original. Daddy. We can all agree it was brilliant. She came out wrapped up. She revealed up. She came down to the end of the runway. She went down. That is three different looks. A really okay? powerful look. That's three different looks. Oof. I'm this sorry. is an expensive look. I'm, I'm sorry look too. about to say this. You cannot. Put someone in the bottom who did not bomb a challenge who came out in that. Who looked this I'm thing. sorry, that's like it doesn't make sense to me. But no. they say based on your challenge and your runway, uh, no, 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 it's clearly not. It's no, not. it's not. I'm sorry, and I don't want to see Ginger in the bottom, but there's. I'm sorry, you don't. Okay, if you okay, you put Ginger at the bottom. You put a carry at the bottom. Ginger comes out, gone with the wind, whatever, and then a carry comes out with that. You can't, I'm sorry, just make, make it make sense. Doesn't make sense to me. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to I'm apologize. Worked You're I'm right. worked up. You're right. Let the river run. Sorry, Jan. Really yeah, that was in my face. Were you shocked to see the They don't care about looks, killed it. Akiria, a kill. I want more, th <laughs> I want more for Joshua's look. They said Akiria is in the bottom with Miss Yara Sophia. Which, mm. like, we, we, uh, just, uh, what? That runway. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, you know who did win? Jan. 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 Oh, I saw that. Jan, Jan was in the top episode. along with uh, 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 some other people. She finally got her win. She never yeah. won all season. The curse of safe. She cracked that safe wide open. Yeah. And inside was a win. The affirmation. Drag Race mm -hmm. as a franchise was designed to break her down. And so I'm glad she got one. Hang on, I'm about to burp. I'm glad she got one moment in the sun. Now let's bring her back down. But we're so happy you have it now. Mm -hmm. Jan, you are, yeah. you don't watch the show, I don't know why I'm saying this, but you are number one top drag queen. What an incredible talent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And stunning. Very beautiful. Absolutely Very nice. Stunning. Very Sweet nice. To us. Yeah. Sweet stunning. to the girls. Yes. Akira wants to be here and this she is, is pleading, pleading her case. case. Yeah. Yara's a little pissed and not really giving the girls what they want, which is they want to hear, I want to be here. I mean, I don't know. You don't know how you would be in that situation. I understand she was pissed. Can I say that? Okay, okay. I'm a Yara Sophia super fan. I love 
Yara, okay? But this isn't the first time we've seen her get, like, mad when people, when she feels like people disagree with her. Yeah. Or her. And I feel like when she gets mad, it's not like a, oh, no, worry. it's like kind of nasty. It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like intimidating. So, like, I was like, okay, well, this is a very easy choice for everybody. Yep. Okay, bye. Exactly. Break. Yeah, you're right. She's had kind of breakdown hissy fits every yeah. time. Which, you know, it, it, we... I'll say this. Ooh, God, I'm so brave. Do we need to come back? We'll say, yeah, I'll say this. When you have somebody with such an incredible, like, outgoing personality who is putting them, their entire being out in front for you to see, when they feel like you are saying you don't like what they're putting out because it's their entire well, that's like it's so I understand. Yeah, so I, I understand wow. the anger, but I'm also like, this is VH1. My lips look amazing from this angle. Like, we should, yeah, I love oh. them. Ma, 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 ma. Mm. Break. Break. Um. <laughs> we go out to the the runway jan is ready to face her lip sync she's got on her assassin. tina turner boom shingalinga dress Ooh, when she walked up to the box when she was put when she had to decide she did this like she was i'm ready for my moment to walk up to my, my box my goodness girl this is the last time i'm gonna see it my goodness rupaul wants to kill me so she's out she's ready they bring it up who is it they show her I still don't think that a lot of people knew who it was. But it was Jessica Wilde! Jessica oh, Wilde. Wow. She is one of... Yeah. She's an earlier season... Season two. Season two. And yeah. if not a lot of probably the new fans know who that is, but she was sickening. Oh, yeah. Jan goes... You could see the deadness behind Jan's eyes. Because she went... Ah! And I was like, Jan doesn't know Jessica Wilde. It, yeah, it definitely. It's like... Jan, 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 Jan tweeted Wilde. today that this yeah. is her five-year drag anniversary. Yeah, she's new. She didn't know Jessica Wilde, but... Which is okay. It's just okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know who she was either. I started watching on Kimchi's season. Thank you for saying that. I don't Did know you, Have anybody. you never gone back and watched? No. <gasps> Do I have You've to? You've never watched season three or four? Or five even? Wait, I've seen season four and five. Season Two, three, three is pretty cool. Season three is really good, and season four is when it, like, hit. Honestly, season one and two is fun if you're, like... For context, we get the lip sync. Jan was doing a bit. Oh gosh, yeah. Jan's an incredible dancer, and yeah. she decided to do a bit. Mm. Jessica Wilde said, no one knows who I am. I'm going to throw myself on this stage, and I'm going to put every move I've ever done in my life. Whip that gorgeous oh. hair yeah. all over that she stage. She y'all are going to remember this one. That's one thing that we see a lot in lip syncs, though. I understand Jan's reasoning behind that, because if you're not connected to the song, if you're just throwing yourself around and it doesn't really connect with the song, that can also backfire on you. But I have to say, when Jessica Wilde is throwing her body around and you see RuPaul screaming, Maybe you should let go of the robot thing and start throwing your pussy around. <gasps> right? Take it off and swing it. Mm, 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 mm. I yeah. get it. I get it. I get her intent, but it really Same. it really didn't work against Jessica Wilde because Jessica was dynamic, amazing. Yeah. And she wins. And she wins. And she wins and the lip sync. Rightfully me, so. Yeah, Rightfully so. Thirty thousand dollars rolls over to next week. Ooh. Yeah. I cannot wait. Who's to gonna see get who that thirty thousand dollars? I, need, I, need, I just need twenty them. bucks. So give me out of one jam. Then they pull the bottom two up. She has to pull the lipstick out. Now, one thing too that Yara said during the lip sync, she's my best friend. Yeah, that's her best friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that sucks. <laughs> yes, you Aww. follow. So Jessica pulls it out, and it's her best friend's name. It's Yara. Yeah. And Yara took it in a very Yara way. Her final phrase was, Fuck, Fuck you, you all. all. Fuck you all. I don't know if it was... I still don't know because she never like turned around and mugged for the camera. I don't know if it was sincere or if it was like her it's trying to joking. be joking. No. I don't think I was joking. If you laugh, because it's you nervous laughing. she did like laughing. wave like goodbye everyone. Because she had to. Because it wouldn't have been completely rude. I mean, yes, I do think there's a, there's a there's humor behind it. I don't think that this was all just serious, like "fuck you" and crying. No, there's humor behind it. But I mean, she has shown us that person that that what well, that that you know. Uh, she's, she's a human. She's a, with human emotions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but, On my TV. But she's willing to show emotion, 
And I think that was, that was in there too. Yara Sophia, what an incredible drag queen. So happy to see you back. And oh my God, you made this season so far so fun. Yeah, yeah I loved her opening titty number. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just loved her trying to interact with Trinity. Like seeing Trinity just hate her. So that is episode four of Woo! All Stars. Oh my God. Goodness. Are you exhausted after that? No, I loved it. Every moment. No, truly. I, I, you, so you came in tonight into my, into my beautiful home. Thank you for being here. And you were like, what do you think this episode? And I said like, I loved it. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back next week. Again, thank you for your patience. We are catching up. We have Drag Race Espana. We have a few episodes we're gonna do mm. all at once and it's gonna be a lot and don't mm. you worry, it's gonna be great. Yeah, and good things come. <gasps> we're so sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry, Darby. God, your voice is gorgeous. She's so, I'd love to hear her talk. Hasn't she done a great job this episode? So far, so good. So far, yeah. So oh good. my God. So incredible. We're so sorry to interrupt. This is uh, us talking to you from the future. We are recording Drag Race Espana episodes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, however many we have left. But we did want to pop in here because we have a very exciting announcement. Mm. What is it, Darby? Oh, we have been raising money all Pride Month long for Brave Space Alliance. Woo! Like I knew it was coming and it's still like, it took me. Yeah, it took I have that in me. But I, <laughs> you're making me feel very prideful right now. Good. I'm gonna be honest with you. But we, we wanted, <laughs> at the time of filming our All Stars episode, we still had a couple donations we were waiting on. So we wanted everything to come in and we got those donations and we were made the donation already. So we wanted to be able to include it in this video because we gotta get the word out because y'all came out with these through. donations. Through, yes, through. through. Well, either preposition. Through, out, in, from. Yes, take prep. Between. Okay. Ladies, are you ready to hear this this donation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to hear this donation Ooh, number? Four digits. In Pride Month, in the most prideful month of the year, IMHO viewers raised for Brave Space Alliance $1,000. <gasps> $553.12. Oh! And 12 cents. oh! Yes, Queen, you're big. We cannot thank you. That's a big donation. That's a big, big. In one month. Hell in one yeah. month. Hell yeah. $1,500? Hell yeah. I'm in shock. Are okay. you? I can't believe that, yeah. Okay. I can't believe our viewers are so kind and generous like that. I mean, I do believe. I was about to say, so we garner a nice, we garner a nice crop of people, but I, it's still really impressive. It feels good that it's for Brave Space Alliance, who we've been yes. working with, who so many of our peers work with, who yeah. the Black Drag Council works with, who yeah. was a part of the Drag March, a great org that is black and trans-led, putting the money where it matters the most. I love it. Yeah, and I have I to say, it. after going to the March and hearing the speakers from Brave Space, it just, I was just so excited to know that we were already raising money and we were gonna raise a lot more. I do have to say, I agree with the ladies. I know that y'all are beautiful, beautiful people, but God damn, that's a lot of money. When I did finally add it all up, I did not expect it to be that much. Yeah. I just can't thank y'all enough. It, it, we are so honored and grateful to have your support in these organizations. Y'all are feeding people, giving people shelter and So thank you so thank much. You. We love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we'll see you in the future for Drag Race España. Back to pa past selves. If you loved this video, please give us a like or subscribe to our channel. It helps out with our algorithm and please follow us on our social medias down below. Absolutely, and then you can follow us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash IMHO the show. Hey, guess what? That's not all. We're on Cameo, babes. Yep. And you can also, if you want to, if you want a special Cameo from all of us, yes. we have a, a program called Shamio. A program. Pro Not affiliated. We have a program we'll for people we'll, who we'll yeah. have Shamios. And, um... We'll do it. We're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> Go to imhotheshow.com and you can read instructions about how to get a shamio from all three of us together. Oh all God. right, well, we will see you next week. Thank you so much we'll for watching. You Goodbye. Week. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. So. No, don't put that. Bye. I don't know. Can we go? Yeah.
as a nurse and as your friend, I highly suggest you don't try to stay up for the next 24 hours. I can definitely do it. I've already been up for 24 hours. Who hasn't had gay thoughts? Is this gonna be one of those cool bachelorette parties where things get out of control and we murder someone and then we all have to take a blood oath to never reveal our secret? No. Then I might have to leave early. I am not a sore loser. It's just that I prefer to win and when I don't, I get furious. Oh, so just because I can't go out with him, someone else can? Oh boy. Wow, okay. I guess my thoughts on abortion are, you know, let's just all have a good time. You ever found a dead body in the trash? Or body parts? Like a torso or a head? Please say head. Listen to me very carefully. I have not been taken. I know that's always your first fear when I'm not available, but this is not a Liam Neeson taken scenario. That's exactly what they'd make you say. Also, no one's making me say this. I think we can agree that all wine tastes the same. And if you spend more than $5 on wine, you are very stupid. April, what makes Pawnee the best city in the world? Easy. Most murders per capita. The guillotine was invented here. And now it's gone, and I hate everything. Sure you want to leave me here with her? What if I'm a murderer? Or maybe he did tell me, but he was so stupid and boring that I wasn't listening. And either way, it was his fault because he was stupid, and I hated him. I wanted to make fun of stupid people while I get drunk. My two true passions. Oh my god, these dogs are so cute. I want to throw up and kill myself.